Alright hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be going over very quickly the cleansers and exfoliants that I recommend to you. If you guys have not seen my first two videos in this series, I will link them down below so you guys can watch them. I am starting a series featuring skincare tips and videos and products just to help maintain good skin. I have no makeup on right now, so as you guys can see my skin is very good. And it was a long process to get it here, so I'm going to share my tips with you and knowledge with you on how to get your skin like this as well. So for today's video we are going to be focusing all on cleansers and exfoliants. Cleansing and exfoliating is a very important step because it basically helps your other products like your serums and moisturizers work better because they get rid of the dead skin and just prep your face for those products to sink in and just be more effective. Cleansing is extremely important. It is basically removing the debris, dead skin cells, anything like that off of your face and prepping it for the rest of your products. The two main types of cleansers are foaming and cream cleansers and I previously talked about this in my last video very briefly but I'm going to get a little more in depth about it today. Cream cleansers are basically ones that do not foam and they're more milky in consistency. They might foam a little bit but they're not meant to be like detergent cleansers where they really foam up and cleanse out the skin. They're generally targeted towards dry skin types but I recommend them for everybody because they're so gentle and they can be used daily. My favorite one is the soy cleanser from Fresh. This is absolutely amazing. It is so gentle. The ingredient list is incredible and it has helped my skin so much. And this is a cream cleanser. It does kind of foam up a tiny bit, but it's not something extreme. It's not extreme. I don't own a foaming cleanser at the moment because I generally don't really like them that much. This one has just been my go-to and it's amazing. So the other two cleansers that I have are this one, which is from Control Corrective, and this one from X Out, which was sent to me as a PR sample. So this is from Control Corrective, the line that I was taught on at school, and this is just tried and true. I really like this guy. This is the Cucumber Bead Cleanser, and this is a creamy gel texture, but it does foam up very slightly, and it has tiny polyethylene beads in it. So this can dual as an exfoliant as well, and this should not be used daily or twice a day at all. Use this one or three times a week and I really enjoy this one. It has a lot of good ingredients. It's very gentle. It's cucumber and aloe based, and it's very healing and nourishing for the skin, and this one I highly recommend. It's very gentle. The beads are spherical, so they're not going to create micro tears in the skin, and they're much more gentler than traditional scrubs. The X Out Wash In Treatment is another scrubby cleanser, so this can also dual as an exfoliant, but it is meant to be as a washing treatment, and it basically has benzoyl peroxide as the main active ingredient, and it washes basically into your skin as you're cleansing. It's kind of a weird concept, but this stuff is actually really good. It gets rid of acne very quickly, but again, because it is a beaded cleanser, you cannot use this daily, one to three times a week, or you could leave it on as a little spot treatment. And this, I have been absolutely loving. The ingredient list is not natural in any way, shape, or form, but X Out is a proactive derived brand, so as you guys know, Proactive was a little harsh, and you get what you get. So this I do not recommend as like a daily cleanser, but for acne treatment and just getting rid of acne, it's awesome. And I really enjoy the beads in it because they're very gritty, so if you are in need of a little bit of a heavier exfoliation, you can get the job done with this and it's not going to be too, too intense like a sugar scrub or anything like that. Um, also, again, with this being a benzoyl peroxide based product, you don't want to use this all the time because benzoyl peroxide is very drying and if you do use it, make sure you're using a hydrating moisturizer afterwards. So the two scrubs that I have, which are not cleansers, these are dedicated scrubs, is the Peppermint Walnut Scrub from Banish Acne Scars and the Brightening Facial Scrub from Acure. This one is a phytoplant enzyme stem cell based um, scrub, so this one I really like because the ingredients are amazing. And then the Peppermint Walnut Scrub from Banish is just a very fine, fine, fine scrub and it just gets the job done. Also, completely natural, very good ingredients in this as well. These I will link down below because they are a little hard to find and they really do get the job done. They are not spherical so you don't want to use a lot of pressure when you're exfoliating because you can cause micro tears and that's just something to be careful of, but they both are extremely effective, and again, one to three times a week with exfoliation. The final product that I have to talk about is my chemical peel, and this is my Glycolic Perfect Image 30% Peel. This is a professional esthetician strength peel. 30% is not something you should be using if you are not a trained esthetician, unless you watch my video, because 
knowledge is knowledge. If you guys are watching my video and you do it the right way, then you can do this. And I will have a video specifically on this later on, so I'm not gonna get so I'm not gonna get too in depth into this one. But it is basically just a very good AHA peel, which resurfaces the skin, and that is why my skin is so flawless. Um, but yeah, the general glycolic percentage in most products is between 10 and 20 percent. This is a little high for consumer use, so definitely use this with caution or go to a salon and get it done or you can watch my upcoming video where I teach you how to use this properly. Alright guys, so that concludes this video. It was very quick and short, but we just went over some of my favorite products for cleansing and exfoliating and I hope this was helpful for you guys. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe so you can keep up with the series. The next video is going to be specifically on peels and I'll see you then. And until next time, bye! -yo.